coming into that, I felt, I felt really good. Um, when I moved in and when I looked around and saw everything, and I was like, wow, I'm really in the college dorm. And I was just thinking about how this is a precursor to what I'm gonna be going through in the next year or so. This, this was the first time I've been uh, in any program related to medicine. So I thought this was a huge step in completing my goal of becoming a surgeon. One of the biggest challenges I have faced today is this issue of imposter syndrome, which plagues a lot of um, individuals who are underrepresented. When you have other people who can relate to where you're from and what you've experienced, it helps um, you feel more validated about being in this space. When we got the heart, it was different. It was harder to tell which way was the front and which way was the back. I got the chance to stick my finger in the aorta or you know, the superior vena cava, and it was the first time I've ever done anything like that. I mean, I kind of knew like what CPR was. I kind of knew you had to like push on the chest and like breathe in the mouth or something like that. But I didn't really know like the exact details that went into that. I mean, I told Amber after I, after I finished getting CPR certified, I called my, called my mom and I told her I'm CPR certified. So if you guys pass out, just call me and I'll be, I'll be able to help you. I shadow a doctor who, um, she was in internal medicine and um, I really loved the way that she worked with patients. She was very involved with the families. Also even working with social workers, seeing how she was going to meet people's needs outside of just medicine. I thought that that was really um, an amazing experience and to just kind of be a part of that for like a little while, I, I felt really important. It was only the second day. It was yeah, it was only the second day, and we were like in a room singing, and just before that we were crying together, and it was just like it's only been like two days, and like look how inviting these people have been. I just I wish everybody was like this, <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody's like everybody's super nice. Um, I think when we see ourselves as underrepresented, we often internalize it rather than recognizing that there are a lot of structural reasons. Discrimination that keeps us from being in spaces and it's not because we don't belong there that we don't see other people like us, but because um, people are trying to hold us back. And so I think when you have a community of people in a network um, in programs that allow you to meet other diverse individuals, it helps you recognize that you do belong there and that you need to do what you can. She's a single mom and you know she has her things to take care of and I try to take care of those things first between before moving on to mine. I set my things aside and I let her take care of her things and I go help her. And then she, if we have time, we move on to mine. Me being a single mom, um, it's hard for us to kind of um, try to get them in the right place. He's a great son, he's a great kid, he's a great student. It's just for me, this program it helps me to push him, push him up a little bit where he wants to be. I've had a few patients in the past with serious sickle cell that need uh, infusions or they need more frequent IV pain medications and I have physicians who are like, no. I'm not comfortable with that. I think for them it can be very comforting to see that A, they have a nurse who's, you know, look, might look like them or understands where they're coming from and is actually communicating with them, getting back with them, letting them know the steps they're taking to get them where they need to be. Um, how, how do we make, you know, the, the workplace 
more like this, more reflective of the population of the, the communities that go to the hospitals. And that has been always something that I have thought of too, you know, having representation in all, all places, you know, in the media, in the government, in hospitals as well. Having Helix, it's like, this is how you do it, through programs like Helix.